Hey guys, it's Arhan back and I'm bringing you a new Brawl Stars video and in this video I'll be giving you tips and tricks on how to push Edgar to rank 30 inside a solo showdown only. So before we get started, please like the video, subscribe to the channel as it helps the channel grow and check out the pinned comment or the description for other brawler guides. Apart from this, I'm also working on many other brawler guides that has been requested by you guys in the comments. So you can comment down below if you need any help, I'll be sure to help you out. And let's get started with the video. So all of the matches that I'll be showing you today are above 800 trophies. And most of the matches are above 900 trophies or 950 trophies just so you can get through that final push. And most of my push has been done in Showdown Plus. It is my recommended mode for brawlers like Edgar and many more just because it gives you a lot more trophies. My first tip with Edgar is definitely gonna be the maps that you wanna play him in. Usually I like to go with medium range maps but I like close range maps like Cavan Churn the most. And that is because you get more potential of tanks in your game and even if you get long range brawlers you can easily take care of them which you're gonna get for sure in showdown plus. So my second tip with Edgar is definitely gonna be to go for cubes. Go for early cubes, try and get 2 or 3 in the beginning. Just because if you can get 2 or 3 cubes in the beginning it of course increases the potential of your healing when you attack and it's gonna get a lot easier to take care of targets and even tanks. And here I was cornered by 3 brawlers, long range brawlers that were teaming on me. So I isolated one of them, jumped on them and I'm just gonna try and survive here. Take them out one by one, try and take 1v1s. This was a bit close but I'm gonna use the super, take care of them, leave the cube because I could get sniped down by the piper. I'm gonna heal and go back into the fight. So my next tip is gonna be the star power and gadget. I like to use the first gadget so that you can recharge your super at any time. You saw it used here and it's gonna help you a lot. Get out of situations and even get kills when you want them. And for the star power I like to use the first star power as well. Which is gonna deal 1000 damage whenever you use your super in the area of effect. It helps out in both cases when you're trying to take out long range brawlers and you just need that extra damage or even on tanks because that extra damage really helps a lot and the second star power is just not worth it. I've got this match in the bag right now. I'm just gonna wait for my super so I can rush her. And when I know she has a super, I'm just gonna run away just because I get that speed boost from the super. More tips on that later in the video and I'm just gonna secure that number one position. Moving on to the next match, this is at 870 trophies on one of my favorite maps, Safety Center. And my next piece of advice is gonna be to use one of your gadgets so you can get your super instantly in the starting of the match. If you see another brawler nearby, using an early gadget gets you the super instantly and when you're getting those cubes, if you get stuck in some sticky situations you can escape out or if you see a low HP brawler and a low target you can easily take him out for more cubes. And regarding the super just some facts that you need to remember it takes 30 seconds for your super to charge naturally without attacking any enemies or popping your gadget and if you pop your gadget in the beginning it takes exactly 9 seconds to charge your super so that's pretty quick and if you have zero charge on your super and you activate gadget it's almost gonna charge it fully and you just have to wait a couple more seconds till the gadget ends i'm just gonna speed up this footage for now just uh, roaming around trying to be patient trying to find targets that i could kill easily and i'm just gonna team up with the frank and surge right here to pick off easy targets but never trust your teammates in Showdown Plus just because you can get a benefit in betraying them and getting more trophies. You get 2 trophies per kill. In this 1v1 situation I have more cubes. I'm just gonna play strategically and move out of the way when each supers. That's pretty good. And get that easy dub. And this is just an, another example on how to deal with tanks with Edgar. This is a really important tip if you want to play those close range maps. So you want to scout their location and always have your super ready when fighting them. And as soon as I see him, I use my basic attack and move backwards at the same time. Which is gonna help me damage him while staying out of range and getting away from his shots. Which brings me on to my next tip and that is to use your supers 
to avoid other supers from brawlers. Best example of this is to dodge bull supers, shelly supers in particular and even frank supers. You can just jump over them and continue attacking them and you'll easily get the kill because you have more heals than it. And this is what I did in Cavern Churn and many close range maps to get the win easily, get rid of tanks and you really have to learn on how to take fight with tanks. One of the next tips is to use those boxes in those early engagements especially if the other brawler can penetrate the box like if it has a single attack like Stu, Bull, Shelly you can just hide behind the box, wait for your super to charge and then get the kill easily while attacking the box because your attack goes through the box the same thing can be done late game while hiding around walls and that's something you have to get used to hide around objects try to avoid shots get close to them and get your super down and easily kill them when you can one more tip when rushing with your super you're gonna gain a lot of movement speed edgar is already a very fast brawler and when he supers he gains an additional movement speed so try and move around not just stay stationary go left right and that's gonna help you avoid a lot of shots when the other brawler is also attacking you plus you're gonna heal when you're attacking the brawler so it's really a nice strat to keep in mind here you're gonna see me move left on the crow when i super onto him and that's gonna avoid me from getting hit by all three of his daggers and get hit by only one and that's gonna secure me that kill and that first place victory now moving on to some gameplay at cavern churn this has been one of my favorite maps in pushing edgar you get some easy kills on bows which are less suspecting and you can kill them easily if you meet them outside of the main center push and you can easily take care of tanks also with the previous tips that i told you by strafing when you are supering onto them one more thing to keep in mind when you super onto a tank like el primo frank shelly you pop your gadget instantly when you super onto them that's gonna help you get a escape super of sorts if you fail to kill them or you're at really low hp when you end up killing them it's gonna help you to escape the situation and stay alive so that you can secure that number one place so be sure to pop your gadget instantly when you super onto a heavy tank or a fight that you're not comfortable with and you know that you're gonna come out of low hp as you're gonna see here, I'm just gonna spot the bull here. He's gonna try and kill me. I'm just gonna move back and use my normal attacks. That's usually gonna heal you a lot. And plus, it's gonna damage the other brawler also. That's gonna make them retreat and help you escape if you can win that fight. So I'm stuck here with two shellies in the middle bush. And my play here is to take the fight slowly. I already know one shelly doesn't have super and i haven't seen the shelly down below yet even though we were comically close and he spots me right now i'm just gonna try avoiding the shots and get close to her so i can go for that kill as soon as i super i pop my gadget on and i'm just gonna spam my attack and get the kill on both the shellies one thing to keep in mind you can easily defeat shellies who are at same or lower level cubes than you same goes with other tanks like primos bulls in this situation right here i'm just gonna wait out the fight so whenever you are at low cubes and it's like the final two three people left you're just gonna have to wait out let them fight each other and this is gonna help me just get a better rank and it's gonna help me take that 1v1 in the end so i just juke this shelly pretty hard when i use my super again and again as i popped my gadget already and i get the kill on shelly and get the first place it was a pretty close one and it was eight cubes to two and i still got that victory this is the last match that i played before i got my rank 30 edgar and i'm gonna show some live gameplay on this so basically my mentality is to get all of those cubes i'm just gonna use all of the tips that i told earlier in the video about aiming your shots manually or auto aiming i prefer to only manually aim when i'm around boxes like the above example when i'm fighting that primo or to check bushes around corners or fighting around walls that's all i use the manual aim for else you have to auto aim every time when you're rushing enemies auto aim is much faster than manually aiming and it's gonna help you a lot get those skills easily so auto aim your shots unless you're shooting around boxes or shooting around walls 
Basically, you have to be patient the whole game, try not to go too aggressive and when you're pushing in showdown plus, try to go for 2 kills, try to go for an early kill on a low HP brawler and a late kill in the game and try to be careful at all times. You need to play for a top 5 ranking at least, then you should be aggressive and try to secure those skills so you can get more trophies. Here I rushed that primo I saw earlier and just got that easy kill on him. Just trying to be patient here, waiting for that Shelly and I got that kill also. So just by staying patient and not being too aggressive, I'm gonna gain some trophies and get a good ranking. Here I failed to kill the Daryl in the end just because I was at low HP but still that was a pretty good performance and I got 6 trophies based on ranking and 4 more from the kills that I got. So that's it for the video guys, hope you found it helpful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing more helpful and useful guides and more content to you guys and peace out.